Hello everyone, how are you doing? Trust you are doing good. Okay, so today I want to quickly show you how to um, create the inner part of a jota, right? Okay, so now let's just look for A5. Let's go to print and look for A5. Okay, that's beautiful. That's good. Let me change it to inches. It doesn't mean anything. I just want to have it as inches. Then you can have RGB, you know. Then, yeah, you're good. Just click on create okay so let's hold on for it it's going to create it for us just in a moment yeah so um if you haven't subscribed to this channel just go ahead and do that right now share it with your friends families and everyone you know okay yeah yes so here we go so we need to select our pen tool right here just select it and once you select your pen tool just click on the first point okay you can click on the first point then you will now hold your shift okay then you click on the second point and what is the what is the essence of the shift right the shift is what would help your you know lines to be straight okay but before we go ahead there's something i need to show you because right now we don't have a line now we don't have a line and that's because of this setting that you can see right here can you see my cursor just fix this to the screen okay so can you see my cursor right here path it's not supposed to be on path it's supposed to be on shape okay so let's just change it to that can you see it disappeared so now we need to redraw it all right so click on the first point then go to the second point all right can you see this is way way too big for what we needed to do okay so now we need to reduce it and to reduce it you can just come here can you see the screen stroke we have fill we have stroke okay so just come here and put let's say five there can you see this is beautiful this is perfect okay so if you want it to be bolder than this you can increase it to 10 you know on your own laptop but i want it to be five you know Point. the next thing we need to do right now is to duplicate it and how do we do that you just need to hold your option or alt key then click on shift then drag it to the left line okay so you can select the two select it manually or you can go to your layer select the two then click on alt again just to duplicate it can you see what is happening right now so that is how we are going to do it all through the whole you know document or through the old thing so there's something i want to quickly teach you again and what is that i want to show you like the space you need to leave out here okay so that space once you select your rectangle you can just go ahead and click on okay so select your rectangle this is your rectangle here first of all let us click outside for this okay so select your rectangle all right then click on your workspace okay on your canvas right okay so now you can see what it brought once you click on the screen it's going to br bring this create a rectangle so you can just put 0 0.5 in in that box okay that's because we didn't type it well let us put it 0 0.5 in that in means inches okay 0 0.5 in ensure it is in both of them then click ok all right it's going to give you a box mm -hmm. this is kind of this looks way too big right but it's not too big by the time it is being printed so what we need to do right now is to align it to the top part of you know our canvas yes okay so this is beautiful we can reduce it a little bit if you feel like it is too big then you can reduce it a little bit but that is the actual size right so now what you need to do is go to the side of your screen just as i have done then come right here ensure it is straight okay so you can just drag it all right so that's beautiful that's beautiful okay so that's beautiful so now we need to do it also to the base so you click on ctrl a then take this down all 
all right so this is beautiful then you can just drag it again to this place so if you check now we have this you know side so we need to ensure that we have it like this as other side as well so let's click and go there okay so this is beautiful this is beautiful let us zoom in so that we'll be able to see what we are doing exactly okay this is perfect okay so now we have it selected we have the environment selected so what we need to do right now is we need to select all of our ruler i mean all of our lines then you know just make adjustment to them so that they can fit into that you know line that we have created the grid the grid the ruler that we have drawn already okay so just drag it like so okay that's perfect you can hold your shift you know just to have a perfect one then you need to take it down a little you can just use your um your control key you know to move it down to the line okay just ensure it is on that line so now we can now duplicate you know everything and duplicate everything and just ensure that they are on the same yeah can you see that so you can select everything again so to do this kind of selection that i'm doing just click on outside of you know your workspace then drag on those guys click and hold then drag on them then now click on your alt key or option key select everything like so you know, i think something is wrong with the mouse so select on everything okay then click on your option or alt key and just drag it to where you want it to be Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing with you. So you can just delete this one, this extra one that you have here. Then you will now go ahead and delete this guy as well. So you can now go ahead and delete this guy as well. Okay, so there you have it. Let us remove our lines, our rulers, and see what we have. okay there you go yeah so go ahead and like share with your friends and families take care of yourself and have a good one bye for now